Hello there. It's lovely to be with you today. Today I thought I'd talk to you about a very special festival which occurs at this time of year. It always happens around this time, towards the end of September or the beginning of October, and it's harvest. The harvest festival is something which has been celebrated for centuries, for hundreds and hundreds of years. And it's when we come together to give thanks to God for all that he has made. It is the time of year when all the wheat and all the things in the fields have been growing and are ready to be cut down or harvested. And they're gathered in and there's great rejoicing because we have these wonderful things which we can eat and we can enjoy. And so I'd like to invite your teacher to pause me for a few moments and they're going to read a couple of verses from the Bible and then we can think a bit more about harvest. So teacher, if you'd like to pause me. So your teacher has just been talking about mustard seeds. Now you may be thinking, why are we talking about mustard seeds? I thought we were going to be talking about harvest. Well, the mustard seed is very, very small. It's only a couple of millimetres across. They are wonderfully small, but they grow into great big trees, as we heard in our story. So Jesus' story is often called parables, because they are designed to teach us as well. And it's partly... I chose that story because it's thinking about actually the wonders that God made because actually from tiny seeds, great big trees grow. Imagine an oak tree. Now oak trees can live for hundreds of years and grow incredibly big, but every single oak tree comes from a little acorn. And so the mustard tree grows and grows and grows. It's bigger than me. And it can um, allow creatures to rest in its shade and is rather beautiful. So when Jesus is talking about his mustard seed, he's talking about how things grow, and they go grow and get bigger and bigger, and that is quite obviously, obviously linked to harvest. Harvest is when we celebrate God's creation, because everything comes from God. And so when we celebrate being able to gather in all the wonderful food that has grown, when we celebrate being able to bring in um, all the nice things that we have been growing over the summer, it is also to God we need to give thanks, because it's very important. At this time of year also is when we bring in um, gifts to go to those who are less fortunate. Now, I'd like you to imagine when you're hungry. Just think back to when you were hungry. Maybe it was just before lunch on school day. And you can smell the food coming from the canteen. It smells wonderful, doesn't it? It makes your tummy rumble. Now, imagine you were feeling like that all the time. That wouldn't be very nice, would it? Well, there are some people who live uh, all over the world who feel like that quite often. And there are people who live in our own villages and towns who feel like that. And so certain groups got together to try and help. And so some of you maybe have brought things in uh, to offer at harvest as little gifts, as uh, little thank yous to God, but also to offer to, to help someone who is in need. For some of you, it may be going to the food bank. For others, it may be going to uh, the, the homeless charities. And that's really good. But actually, there's more to it than that, because actually the food bank... The food bank works in the way that if you are without food, if you're struggling, they will give you some food to keep you going. And it works through people donating, so that whatever we donate is then given to those who are in need. And that's really brilliant. And so I'd like to plant a seed with you. Whenever you go to the supermarket with your adult, have a look around near the tills. There'll be a box that said food bank donations. And if you look on that box, you'll find there's a list of things that they need. Because just as your adults <clears throat> won't always buy the same things all the time, they'll get what you need. So too the food bank has to respond to what people need. So if they've got lots of one thing, they don't need more of that. They need what actually things they have less of. And so when you go to Zubaga with your adult, have a look at that list and see what they need. And I'd like you to make that, that effort just to go and get a little something to go into the food bank box. And when you do that, you know what? There's going to be someone who's in need who's going to be helped by that, which is brilliant. Now just imagine, look around you, look around your class, you'll see there's lots of other people. Now imagine if they all did that. That'd be brilliant, that'd be lots and lots of food and, and useful things going into the food bank box. Now imagine your entire school with everybody doing that. Add in, add in the teachers as well, add in all the staff, Everybody giving a little bit. And then suddenly, there's a lot. Now imagine if we could all do that. Every single one of us. If everybody gave just a little bit, 
just like that mustard seed, it would grow and grow into a great big mound. And so those who are struggling, those who are in need of food or all those things which are necessary, they would have that. And that would be brilliant. And so just as the mustard seed or the oak seed grows, the acorn grows, that can help and that can grow too. So I'd like you to, um, to, to think on that, just reflect on that. And actually think about those who are struggling and how we can help them through just a little, a little act. I'm going to invite teacher at this point, if they'd like to pause me so you can have a, a chat and discussion about it, that might be quite a good time. So if you'd like to pause me, please do so now. Well, I hope that was a useful discussion. I'm going to end our harvest service, our harvest celebration, with a little bit of prayer. Now, if you'd like to pray as I like to pray, then please do join me when I invite you. If you'd like to pray slightly differently, that's okay. Perhaps you'd like to pray in your own way to give thanks to God for the harvest and to pray for those who are in need. If you're the sort of person who doesn't like to pray, that's okay as well. Maybe you'd like to just think about all the wonderful things which we do have and think about how we can help those who are less fortunate than ourselves. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord of the harvest, we give thanks for the wonders you have made in all your creation. Help us to be thankful for the wonders we do have, for the joy of your harvest. We pray for those who are less fortunate than ourselves, those who are in need. Guide us and help us to help them. Help them to grow, help them to feel full. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So please don't forget, when you go to the supermarket, do look out for that box. Do try and get a little something. And if we can all do it together, that will turn into a great big something and that will be wonderful. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye for now. So God bless, stay safe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>